Hey guys, this is Robert with Dungeon Lair. And real quick in this video, I wanted to demonstrate how I sculpt fire. And I'm using a, a product called Magic Sculpt, which it's a two part epoxy putty. You have one part resin, one part hardener. And if you're not familiar with Magic Sculpt, it's sort of like uh, green stuff where you mix uh, two equal parts uh, like green stuff you have a yellow and a blue you mix it together and uh, it turns green and then you have a certain um, time frame working time to sculpt whatever you're working on and magic sculpt is the same concept so here I just grab two equal parts of the resin and hardener and then um, right here I'm just kneading it together to make sure that everything is mixed up um, properly before I, I start sculpting. What I'd like to do when I'm sculpting fire is I take my putty and I make a cone shape with it because when you look at fire um, on a torch you have the fire the hottest point of a fire is the base and so that's the widest portion of the flame and then it tapers as it goes up so I'm not adding any details here it's just a real simple basic cone shape and then I start working it. I take um, my sculpting tools, which basically is, it, it, they look like tools that dentists would use. And so I have two or three that I like to use for sculpting my fire, uh, but generally this is my favorite one. And what I'm doing here is I'm pushing the, the putty into the base that I'm working with so that it, it sticks in there a little bit so that I have some freedom to, um, to start sculpting. And don't be too critical when you're sculpting fire because fire is, is not, it's not uniform. It's not perfect. And you definitely want to add some details because you don't want to have just a, a smooth, um, cone because that's not going to look good either but what i'm doing here is i'm going starting from the base and i'm just adding small little lines going all the way up to the top of the uh the tip of the flame and then i'll come back from a different direction and do that same concept but i'll crisscross my previous line that I made into the the putty and so what this does is this starts to add um, divots and crevices and just texture so once I add paint to it, it it'll actually look like fire and uh, you know I can't stress enough don't don't feel like when you're starting out that oh man it doesn't look like fire I'm going to give up. Just keep at it. Um, keep working it. And eventually you'll get the, the hang of it that it'll come second nature to you. Probably one of the easiest things to sculpt, or for me anyways, is, is fire because you don't have to be perfect at it. You just add um, uh, different designs and textures to it and even have a, a picture of um, a real flame and just kind of mimic it as best you can again at the end of the day once you add paint to it it'll really come to life 